ET Final Score is brought to you by Ashley Furniture. Good morning, East Texas. Kenneth Dean here with the Tyler Morning Telegraph for your Monday morning update. Tyler Junior College police continue their investigation into the alleged sexual assault of a female uh, there at Ornelas Hall over the weekend. Now the victim has told police that all that she can tell them is that the suspect was a tall black male about 300 pounds. Now police have met with students in Ornelas Hall and on TJ Camp, TJC campus and have given the students a description of this individual and we will bring more as this case develops throughout the day. A 28-year-old Palestine man has been indicted on capital murder charges after a grand jury heard evidence in the 2011 death of Billy Wayne Hansel's two-year-old stepson. Now the indictment says that Hansel beat the child in the head with his hands, feet, and other means uh, causing the child to uh, suffer permanent brain injury and of course die as a result of those injuries. Interesting enough, Hansel already had a pending case in the Anderson County uh, juvenile, uh, jail system where he allegedly threatened to beat a female neighbor with brass knuckles. In sports, guys, gals, what can I say other than Dallas blew it big time yesterday. Did anybody watch that? Holy smokes! It, it was, you knew it was going to be a bad performance when the opening kickoff, the boys fumbled the ball right there and, and of course Seattle went back for a field goal. From there the follies continued and at, at sometimes during the game I'm sure all the Dallas Cowboy fans out there hung their heads in shame yesterday, but we can only hope that the Cowboys will recover and that we'll see a better team Sunday when they play. Remember you can get all your local news all day long every day at TylerPaper.com. Now you can also go to your app store on your smartphone, whether it be iPhone or Android system, and download our free app. You're looking for the Tyler Morning Telegraph app. Download that and as breaking news alerts go out throughout the day, you'll get those alerts so that you'll know what's going on in your community and you'll find out from the Tyler Morning Telegraph first.